If you use Waveform DAW, either the free or the pro edition from Traction, and you have some stems or audio loops that you want to change the tempo or the pitch of those loops, and you're not sure how, well, I hope this video will help you out. Hi, my name is Vace and welcome to my channel and I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time here and the topics I cover interest you, please consider subscribing. And after watching this video, you find it helpful, interesting and entertaining, please give it a like and share, it really helps my channel grow. And now on with the video. Here I have a project loaded in waveform 13.3. There are a few things we need to check before we continue. Let's go into settings under general tab. Here we need to make sure some of the options available. Tempo change remapping. If we click, I've selected all options. Remap audio clips, remap auto tempo audio clips, MIDI clips, as well as the plugin automation. This way, if you change the tempo of your project, everything else also follows that tempo. That's one. You can also select detect tempo of imported audio files. So if you are importing WAV files or loops, you can let Waveform automatically detect the tempo. And also, if they are a little bit out, you can always get it to the nearest beat. You can select that option. Again, that's a personal preference. Here on this project, I have the tempo, the BPM at 145. So let's have a quick listen. So we have an idea of what the song tempo is and how fast the song is moving. So that when we change the tempo, we have a feel of that change. Each year when the old year has ended before a new one's begun we To change the BPM, don't go straight away and changing the BPM here. First, we need to check making sure that the clips are enabled to follow the project tempo. Select the clip. We see the clip information here. Go to Loop Properties. And Auto Tempo is what we can check. By enabling this, we will actually get the clip to follow the project tempo. We can also notice that the root tempo of this wave file is already at 145 BPM. And also make sure that the stretch option is Elastic Pro, usually selected by default. And now we can go ahead and enable this in every one of the clips by simply clicking the auto tempo. Unfortunately, there is no way to select all the clips and click the auto tempo option. If you know a way, let me know. But if I select all the clips by uh, placing down the shift key, select all, I don't have that option. But if you know a way, let me know in the comments section how to do that. I know a lot of things, but I don't know everything. That's why you are here to let me know. So now that we've got that enabled, we can now go here and change the tempo. Let's change this into 155. This way we can actually feel the difference and hear the difference. You'll also notice that as soon as I click the enter key, all the clips will get shorter because we're making it faster. And now we let it render. And let's go back and have a listen. Each year when the old year has ended before a new Definitely faster. Begun, we'll make so many resolutions. Sounds a little bit funny because it's getting faster, but the reason I put really fast, obviously, so you can hear and feel the difference in the tempo change. And that's pretty much how you can change by going into the loop properties and auto tempo. There are a few other options. Might make another video with those options later in time. Well, that's it for this uh, video. I hope this helps you out. 
If it does, make sure you give me a like and share this with your friends as well, so that way they know how to do it. And if you'd like to support my channel financially, feel free to give me a super thanks or join my channel membership where you get to view the videos several days before it's uh, public. Or you can also make a one-off PayPal donation. I will leave a link in the description. Your support is truly appreciated. And thanks for all those who financially support me. As always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next one.